Hi guys, I'm Jen Jones. Today I'm going to show you how to make this geometric optical illusion cake. It's a trick on the eyes. Let's get started. So I've taken some blue fondant, I've rolled it out nice and thinly, and I'm going to put it on top of an eight inch round cake. You could do this with any size cake, and if you've got any of your fondant here, you just want to kind of just score it. I used a cake plate to just kind of mark my spot here, and any parts that are catching, I'm just gonna take a sharp knife, like an X-Acto knife, or basically any kind of small tool that's nice and sharp. So once you've got that round cut out, you can take it and you're gonna put it directly on top of the eight inch round cake. And we're going to do the exact same thing to the six inch round cake as well. So you just wanna smooth that. You can leave it nice and if there's anything hanging over, you can leave that there in the beginning here. So I've got the six inch piece rolled out. Same thing as the eight inch, I'm just going to pick it up transfer it to the top of the cake, and then just kind of pat it down so it's nice and level. When we get our geometric shapes to match at the end, we're going to trim the top pieces. So I've got black, white, and blue fondant rolled out thinly, and I used my spacers on my rolling pin, which I very, very rarely do. In fact, I never do it ever. But I used it this time because I wanted to have the exact same thickness of fondant for each of the pieces of my illusion. So now what I'm going to take is a small diamond cutter, and I'm just going to cut out about 15 to 20 of each color at a time. What I found out was that I, I wanted them to be stiff enough that they were still workable, but that they weren't super floppy, if that makes sense. And I just wanted to let them sit for a couple of minutes while I cut out all the different colors. And then I basically, I'm going to do one row at a time. Once you have your diamonds cut out, what you're going to do is start applying them to the cake. Now, if your buttercream is crusted, you can just put a little bit of water on the back here, and that will help to stick it to the other areas on here. Now, what you also wanna do is make sure that your black and your white lines line up quite well. That's going to give the illusion throughout the cake building process. So I'm just going to make sure that those ones stay vertical and you can fix them. And that's what's really important when it's still um, basically kind of able to be bent, but not breaking and like wrinkling your fondant. That's the perfect time that we want these to go on. So I'm just going to build and build and build. One hour later, I have all of the diamonds on here. And what I'm going to do to the top is I extended them above the top. And then I'm going to take my water pen here. You could use edible glue too, or you could just use a regular paintbrush with some water. And then I'm going to stick on each of the blue pieces in between each of those black and the whites. So hopefully that will hold on to there and just keep doing that on the top. And then we are on to the second layer. So on the bottom tier, I'm reversing the black and the white diamonds because what's that going to do is switch basically the illusion of the direction that the cube is kind of floating out in space there. So you just wanna line them up and I've got the blue on the top like before. You could move them around however you want to move them around. I just liked to keep that consistency of the top. So then it looks like the light, which would be shining on a cube, is kind of like the black is the shadow and then the white is the brighter part of the cube. So that's the effect that I'm going for on this bottom tier. So another hour later, I've got all of my optical illusion cubes placed onto the cake. And then I'm going to take a really sharp blade and I've left a gap here so I can get my blade in properly. I'm just going to keep it level with the top of the cake here. And I'm just trimming off these little pieces. Now I want to keep these pieces and I'm going to fill in the gaps with them at the bottom of the cake. So you can just kind of go around and fill those in with these little extra ones you cut off the top. And then you'll also have to do that with the top tier as well. Now for the scariest part of the cake, I have to transfer the bottom one. Hopefully I get most of my hard work of those little pieces. Oh, I only left one behind. That's pretty good because it's super annoying to put the little ones on, I'm not gonna lie. So I just wanna line it up so I've got it on top here evenly. 
And then if you want to, if you're transporting it, you could put a dowel through the center to hold it into place. Now, because I haven't had enough of these lovely geometric shapes, I'm also gonna do my cake board. So there you go, everybody. I've got my cake board done now too. I've got the cakes stacked on top of each other and it's got that optical illusion floating cubes all over the cake in the cake board. Yes, it's a lot of cutting. Yes, you have to have a lot of patience, but I kind of find this sort of a thing rather therapeutic. So I hope you guys try this out. Make sure you take a picture and send it off to me. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.